Hi, I'm Lulu. Wait. Hi, I'm Lulu. Welcome to Hamped Up. Y'all ready for this? Boys soccer has seen a wide variety of kids go through the program in the last few years and have adjusted to new players, playing styles, and coaches more than the average team. This current team is filled with a majority sophomores and juniors, with a few freshmen and seniors. To get a better perspective from the two captains, who are both juniors, I talked with Paul Erickson and Ben Raposa. Having a younger team definitely gives us a disadvantage because we don't have as much experience, and I guess we're a smaller team, and size definitely uh, affects how good you are in any sport. Next year, we'll really be able to kind of um, build up the players that we are getting in, um, the sophomores, freshmen, and juniors, and really like next year and this year kind of grow more as a team. Yeah, short term it's not so good, but long term um, it should benefit us. I think if we improve all aspects of our game just a little bit, we can get a few more wins. I mean, our record doesn't really show how good we are. We've been close in games against top three teams in Western Mass, so just improve our record so we get taken a little bit more seriously. I also talked with the team's only seniors, Jarrett Bohr and Chris Raphael Riley, to gain a better perspective on what it's like being seniors on an especially young team and what lessons they'll take away from this season. So playing on a team with a lot of younger kids, it's easier to like make them cooperate, but also it means we're a smaller team and a lot of teams are bigger than us. So. Yeah, I mean, overall, just going into games against like Chog, Longmeadow, and stuff like that. It's like what Chris said, it's hard to compete against bigger people when our team is full of sophomores, juniors, and we even have some freshmen on the team, and it's just, it's uneven. We play a system where you have to believe in what you're doing, so you just have to do your job every single day, and then the team will get better, but you have to believe in the system. Too. Last year, our season kind of suffered a little bit, so to get into this season, our whole outlook is to just focus on our defense and making sure our skill and our possession and just everything as a whole is just trying to get better. And so I'd say rather than us focusing on winning games, it's to make sure that we like keep ourselves in the games. We hope to uh, win a couple more games, maybe get into the playoffs, um, definitely beat East Hampton. Um, and a Amherst. game coming up. Especially Amherst. Boys soccer's next game is on October 9th at 6 o'clock home against East Hampton. In other sports news, football has a home game tonight at 7 against West Springfield. Girls soccer has a home game tomorrow at 2.30 against Pittsfield. Field hockey is away tomorrow at 2.30 in Quaybog. Cross country has a Thetford Invitational all weekend tomorrow in Vermont. Thanks for watching Camped Up. I'm Lulu Kesson.